your pursuit is not to know God, that is just to do ministry. One day you will look at yourself, you, you will become high. Become one of the carcasses that died in the wilderness. If there is no ministry, I will never be bothered. I will not remember you people. You will never believe it. If I, you know, some of you don't know why some of us is able to live through the things we live through. I don't even see myself as a man of God, as a minister. I'm a pilgrim. I'm a witness. I'm a pilgrim. Anything that want to hold me, I will just be removing myself from it. If he can't carry me into the knowledge of God, it's not that important. Are you getting the point? I'm not here to just preach. If not, I will not be praying the way I'm praying. I'm bothered that I don't know as I ought to. I'm not well. so I'm bothered. I'm not trying to do gimmicks to, to just cut things. This is the one that no, no, I want to find God. I want to find Him. <laughs> if you say uh, stay inside, it's better. They they brought a very book box, very big box of books for me from the US. I never even touch and I'm angry with myself that I've not. So if Lawa say, I'm not here, I'm going. I say, ah, hallelujah, thank God. I will soak. I will lock myself. I won't come out. I will keep fasting, not to for anything, just for chambers of light to keep. There is a there is a way I've learned how to fast, and I will my understanding of spiritual things will multiply. That is how. It's Jesus I love. It's not ministry. I don't think I'm not making my statement lightly. I know what ministry is. I was born inside it. Kelolwa can now. Business. Namu woka. So you understand, like, <laughs> how many of you, your parents used to be a chemist? Good. I like this boy, just raise his hand. Come. I want to prove something to you. Come. So you understand exactly what I'm saying. Kelafa. Chukwode. His name is Chukwode. How old are you? Nine years. Chukwode is nine years. What's your father doing? Chemist, am I correct? Yes. Can you mix drug? Yes. Nine year old boy can mix drug for you. But there are pharmacy students of 400 level that cannot yet. Hmm? I can call you out. Do you know why? Staying around people if your parents are into something, you are automatically into it. There are things you will learn by default without even trying to. It's like they stole your childhood in a good way. But they stole it. Yes. This boy might want to go and play football, but all we call a mix. That's how, that's how I was carrying megaphone everywhere, following my mother, going for evangelism. Some of them, I don't want to go. <laughs> and all that. So you see my boy, he's in 24 hours. Even my room, my Are you getting the point? Because it's a good thing. That's how. The point is this. Somebody that is that little has learned the craft. Before yet he has gone to even learn it. That's how much you can learn simply because you are in, in an environment. That's how much you just become something. Simply. So I have seen this ministry. Without even trying, I have known more than I should know. Without even trying, I've known more than a professional pastor knows. Before I was even an adult. 
are you getting the point now? So don't think I don't know what I'm saying when I say it is not ministry. If it is, I will, I will, if it, I will go. Oh, no, there is something more. There is, there has to be. It can't be this. There has to be. There has to be. You will die. Ministry will kill you. You better find God. It will kill you. It's not palatable. If I find my way, I will escape and leave you people. It's not as sweet as you think. Thing is, it is is war zone. It's no rest. There is no nothing. You jump out from this. You are, it's war zone. I just what I wanted was to serve God. What I want, and then you are here, and all that. If your pursuit is not to know God, that is just to do ministry. One day you will look at yourself. You you will become. become one of the carcasses that died in the wilderness. Your freshness will go. Your hunger will go. The reasons why you set off is far behind you. The words on your lips has nothing in consonance with what was driving you from the beginning. I will find God now. Because that will be my consolation. That is my reward. That is what I have. That is what you can't take from me. That is what nobody can take from you. Are you getting what I'm saying? When all is said and done, it is what you have in God that you have. The rest can go. I will find God. I don't know about you. I know you are hungry to do great things for God. I'm hungry to know God. I told the brother many years ago what I'm telling you I, I knew I don't know how God explained to me the difference I think it's because of maybe my struggles when I was younger I knew that there is a difference between hung, hunger for ministry and hunger for God an average young minister you see is hungry to be used by God that's a powerful thing huh there's something superior you have to be hungry for God in case there is nothing. I will not reduce my tempo. God in heaven knows. I will even have time to do more. After all, it was because of the one I was doing that I came out and be doing ministry. So, I don't understand. I'm telling you what I've done. When I was, how am I even here? Well, I think I'm helping. When I was doing youth service, I was teaching in a school. And when I was teaching in that school, I just noticed that I would go to school by 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Come back by 4.00, 5. Ah. And I was a state executive of NCCF. We now start, how many of you served in NCCF? Wahala, your own is easy. Our own is labor. Sometimes we do meetings, start meeting. Ah. Once you come by that 5, we will do prayer. Esco's prayer. After Esco's prayer, we will now do house prayer. After house prayer, we will now do a school's meeting. Close around 2 a.m. in the night. And then, there is lesson note I have not written. I will now start doing the lesson note. I, and then my night prayer has not... After lesson note, by the time I'm through, it's 2, 4 in the morning. Before it's 5, they now start for morning devotion. And I woke up, do morning devotion, go to... I woke up one day, I said, is this what my father gave birth to me to do? The, the man called me and said, you are a man of God. You are a man. I said, no. Before I became a man of God, I was a child of God. I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself. What's happening? They, they ran, came and told me, if you don't do it, they will give you extra months in, NC, in NYSC. I said, that's good. I prayed to, I, I wished Satan gave me extra months. He's not afraid. The thing some of you are afraid of is what I like. Because I needed to fast more. I've already started touching glory. I've started touching it. I've started touching it. I've started touching it. He said, he want to give me extra moon. He said, extra moons of glory. So when Satan saw the way this boy is going, let's not give him extra moon. So he will go higher than... Yes, now you can ask my mother. She saw a vision that time I was doing your service. I was always clothed in glory and light. Do you think Satan will give you extra moons? So I told them, that's when 
and all that. By the time they are through, I won. I said, I'm losing myself. I came here to know God. I will not just be doing ministry and then I don't know God again. That's why when you come for bad times like this, free yourself. Enjoy Jesus first. All the time you are thinking of how to move ahead in ministry. Have you thought about how to move ahead in your own personal life? Before you are a man of God, you are a child of God. You are lost yourself. This is not you. This is not, not us. What's happening? The reason why I'm researching is not to show that I'm better than anybody. Is I want to make my prayer life more effective. I want to make my pursuit of God more effective. It's for me. It's for me. If you are a true seeker of God, not just to blow your mind. If you study and study and study and study, it's not there. Stop and pray and ask God. Where is the spirit of revelation, wisdom and revelation that opens me up, opens this knowledge up? Prayer without revelation will not yield you much. Oh. Because you will be like a man groping in the dark. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's like they walk hand in hand. Are you getting it? That's why you, a real prayerful person is a person of light. You know why? The person might have, should have, would have, always encounter gates that he cannot explain there is a way you study your bible you will know that what you are reading is not in your life you will know and know that what you filled your head with is is junk you are just messing up your mind let me warn you listen it is frustration to know more than is in your the more you, it, it sometimes step down from knowing more people think okay let's leave it it's good to know a lot but sometimes step down, step it down. Especially if what you know is not in your life. There is nothing as frustrating as, as that. If you are not careful, there is a line you are towing. You will come to a point where you become, you become a Pharisee. You know who is a Pharisee? The man that wonders why another person has in his life what he's teaching. And the person necessarily doesn't know as much as he knows. That's a Pharisee. So they feel that this kind of thing must pass through their gate based on how much they know. Brother, you don't know anything. If you truly know the knowledge of God, it should be part of your life. As a chapter in the, in the knowledge of God, what I have is a knowledge in my head. I want it to be a knowledge in God. How? You keep praying. You keep, so they go hand in hand. And when a man stumbles on that kind of understanding, it takes your prayer. It multiplies the power times 10. You see how they work together. How do you know and you don't pray? How do you pray and you don't know? How? How? Because you'll be driven many times to the place of research. The reason why I'm researching is not to show that I'm better than anybody. Is I want to make my prayer life more effective. I want to make my pursuit of God more effective. It's for me. It's for me. The things I'm teaching you, I'm not teaching you to say, hey, he taught us another thing. They are my pursuits. My heart burns towards them. Such that if I don't find you here, I'll be there. I'll be researching it. Ministry, ministry. If you die, other people will continue ministry. Leave ministry. Find God. If you die, ministry will not remember you. But if you know God and die, God will remember you. If you're with me so far, say amen. amen.